my patchwork ruler is my best friend. I love it with my rotary cutter. But the latest set of rulers are actually linked to the sewing machine. It's a bit of a learned skill, because it come, but it will come off your free motion skill. You, the 9450 comes uh, with the uh, inbuilt upgrade, but not all the kit. And you do need a special foot. You do. The foot, there's a ruler work foot, which is this one which actually comes with the machine and we've got a special setting in sewing applications so we can set the machine up to work specifically with that foot. And this foot sits inside rulers, it doesn't it? It sits inside the rulers, yeah. Can I, can, are the rulers in here? There are some rulers in there. They're my personal ones from home so they might be a little bit shabby around the edges. Are they, are they been used? Well, I think we need to... Certainly, them, yeah, anyway. pop them open. Pop that so, out. Because... So, because... Just take one out. Get the straight one. There's different ones in there. And there's a little... The actual, the oh, yes, I've used this one. This this actual little... Kit. Kit that they're in is actually the project which is included with the rulers when you buy them. So oh, that's have a to really do nice add-on project. <laughs> so again, we have the template, the acrylic yeah. templates, which we're all used to. And the foot sits in here. It is it's different though, because as you say, that foot fits in here. It does. It, it fits inside. And you're physically moving your work... Yeah, this if sits on the work sense. and it goes around. But anyway, if I, we have a quick look now on how yes. we can uh, go to the um, to the real work setting on the machine. Sure. So we need to go back into sewing applications, and again we're going across the screen to root quilting all onto here, and it's telling me I've got two pages, so I need to pop across here, and I've got the ruler work setting. So that one now again, it's telling me I need to lower the feed dog, mm -hmm. so I can pop that down on the side. Show me the QR foot, which is the quilting ruler foot. That's this one. And again, I can use it with medium or light, and it just alters the setting slightly for us. Very easy to attach, so I'll show you that now. Again, we'll lock out the machine so that we're quite safe with it. Take the foot lift up. And it's the same, we need to take the foot holder off to pop the foot on. The same as we do for the so that's walking So held foot on by the screw. Sorry, I'm in your way. Take that off there. And again, take the foot holder off, hang on to it. I tend to leave my foot attached to it because mm. then it's less likely to get lost yes, somewhere you're right, along the way. And again, that just sits on around here. Kit. There we go in. Take this off a little bit more out. There we go. And on we go. Again, make sure you give it that quarter of an inch, quarter of a turn tight with the screwdriver um, because this, if they work loose. Yeah. It's not good. And that's it, you're ready to go with it now, so we can lock it. And it literally, I'm going to pop this underneath, I'm going to sew with it today. But we can just pop it underneath. And see how. And it yeah. just sits in, so I'm going to pop that down. Mm -hmm. So it sits in, and you're moving the fabric. And it's, yes. it's self-explanatory how they work. All the information, I've got the kit down here somewhere, which I'll get out for you. That's the actual ruler work kit that you can buy. Um, and it's got the project instructions in there as well for this and also project. it's really it's one of those it's a learning curve it's slightly different to free motion piece and you need to go a lot slower yes it. you do and the trick is holding this really firmly down here isn't it and then it's thing. moving everything yes. around as you as you go yes. i've got a couple of bits here that i have done and again mm. like everything else practice first yes, yes. it's a learned so skill it's not an instant that, again we've got the little yeah. These are just some of the different rulers yeah. that are in there. The spin effects, the little oval. This is one where I just got a little bit carried away and sort of went a little bit random. Yeah. I've actually used this on a border because I thought doing a border of a quilt as a starting project mm -hmm. was easier than yeah. coming right into the middle of yeah. my quilt. And I found that that worked really well. And again, this is the pattern that's actually on there. That's so we can nice. pop that on top. So again, that just shows you. And that's just using the straight edge and the spin effects and using it in different ways. We've got some fabulous samples here that Leslie Brankin did for us. So if you want to have a look She's at those. She's a very talented um, lass. It goes through the different rulers. So there is, let me pop these out of the way forms mm. now. And it goes through all the different rulers. So we've got the six inch arc ruler. Okay. Do you want me to get them out so yes. I can tell us which one oh, they yes. are? There you I'll, go. I'll pop them out of here. There oh, okay. Go. So we pop them out of here. So that one is quite self-explanatory. That's our six inch arc ruler. Okay. okay. And all of these are done all with that? All of these are done with a single oh, ruler. Okay. So it's just moving it around in different ways. There we go. And we've got spin effects, which may be my favourite one, which is this yes, one. Yes, it's nice. Pop it that way. That's nice. That's a really nice little one for that. 
And again, if you notice on some of these, they've got like a little gate almost at the bottom. So if you're doing multiple patterns, you can clip that out. It's like a jigsaw piece mm. and then move it out and pop the next ruler on to save lots of yes, ends so tying afterwards. It's, re yeah. it's really good, I must say. From that point of view, I, I, I liked the little hearts. Okay. I think the heart one is in there. Sorry. Somewhere. I'll here. get that one out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. I've got it under here. You can tell it's... So there's the hearts. There we go. And again, you think, how's that going to make a heart? But it is very straightforward. Yes, forward. so as I say, this, yep. yeah. And it is surprising that because you're sewing inside here that mm -hmm. they come out slightly differently. Yep. That's the trick of these, yeah. isn't it, to remember. This one's so we've oval. Got the, the little clamshell. Where's my little clamshell gone? It's here. And again, you've got different features on them. So you can oh, right way up. So you can sew around differently with them all. There's the I mean the patterns are endless. Yeah. The variations yeah. that you can yeah. do. Uh. And that's our ruler, which is again it's fabulous. Very easy to use. Quite yeah. straightforward. Interesting. Last yeah. but not least, I've pointed over my little we, pointed we, over, we, which we, is this little one here, which is again. Yeah. And that just sits on there. Yeah. So they are a really, they're a really nice add-on to the machine. Yes, and having that ruler work function and specific foot for it makes it very, very easy to use. You're not worrying. You can get generic feet, but they don't always work very well mm. with some of the machines. Whereas this is specifically designed to work with this machine and the acrylic ruler templates that you can get. Yes. Yes. Well, I thank you. Thank you for sharing all of that. I think I'm going to go home and make my own little project because I have got this at home. Oh, good. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs>